Tinker Nerds. Howdy. Today on TinkerNet Labs, I'm going to show you how to take an old Wi-Fi router and turn it into a Wi-Fi repeater or a Wi-Fi bridge. What is it that we're doing again? Okay, imagine that you're sitting outside in your hammock with your laptop and the Wi-Fi signal from your house doesn't quite reach there. What you can do is take a spare Wi-Fi router and turn it into a booster so that it boosts that signal to your area. There, now that we're all on the same page, let's start thinking. To begin, you need to see if your router supports DDWRT. They have a router database on their site that you can search through to see if you can find yours. If it isn't there, then unfortunately this project won't work for you. And although they don't have the same features, it is worth mentioning that OpenWRT and Tomato are very similar alternatives that might actually support your router. So check out those if DDWRT isn't supported. The router package should have downloads and guides for installing DDWRT on your router. So follow those steps to get it uploaded and installed. And then once it's done, it will ask you to create a password. After creating a password, you can now customize DDWRT. Let's say that first we want to turn the spare router into a repeater. So to do that, you'll need to click on the wireless tab and under wireless mode, change it from AP to repeater. Then in the SSID, give it the name of your primary wireless router and then select whether you want it to be bridged, connected to your old network, or unabridged, isolated from it. Under virtual interfaces, click to add a new one and then come up with a new SSID name. Then click save and go to the wireless security tab. Here you want to enter in the wireless password for your primary wireless router and then create a new one for your repeater. Lastly, under Status and Wireless, click on Site Survey. Find your wireless network and then click Join. Now you can place your wireless repeater near a dead zone to boost the wireless signal into that dead zone. Keep in mind that the more you repeat a wireless signal, the more it degrades it. So don't expect to put repeaters over unlimited distances. But what if your wireless device doesn't have a Wi-Fi connection? What if it just has a physical Ethernet connection? And what you want is a wireless bridge, something that can take the wireless signal and convert it back to a physical Ethernet connection. To do this, all you have to do is change the dropdown from wireless repeater to wireless bridge. And that's it. Now you can extend your Wi-Fi to the furthest reaches of the universe. Mostly. Probably not, actually. Well, if you got any value out of this video and would like to give some value back, please consider donating, subscribing, commenting, liking, or becoming a patron. And as always, for more, go to Tinkernut.com.